Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Software Automation Experience. Today I am back with another most useful video to uh, achieve how to read data from any of the JSON file. Here in this case, the data will be present in a JSON file which is kept externally. It is not part of any of the request. It is not part of any of the response. It is totally a file which is kept in the uh, base directory or the test suit repository. From that, I will show you how to read the data and make use of it as part of any of the requests in Jmeter. So uh, let me uh, take you through the steps to perform this. The first step will be to create a Jmeter test suit. So let me go here and show you this is the empty for uh, empty folder where I am going to create a Jmeter test suit and I have created one more folder to keep the JSON file that is patient resource JSON file so this is the JSON file I have kept let me open it and show you so this contains the patient data patient related data resource type is patient patient system uh, URN OID value and then its value that is the identifier and the patient name that is family name and given name gender and the birth date okay so this is the JSON data. I want to uh, read it from this file and make use of it in the uh, JMeter next request. Okay. So let me uh, create a JMeter test suit for that. Let me launch JMeter first from here. So JMeter is getting launched. Wait until it loaded completely yeah. so here uh, the JMeter is uh, loaded completely let me name this test plan as read underscore data from JSON file okay press ctrl s this will be saved as a dot JMX file click on save right click on the test plan and add a thread group okay and right click again on a thread group and add a simple controller so every code we write let's have a practice to write inside uh, any of the controller like simple controller or transaction controller okay let me add a sampler HTTP request sampler inside this so this is how we have achieved the basic step of uh, creating the structure of our JMeter test suit. So let me check what is the next step. The next step is configure the HTTP request. Okay. So to configure the HTTP request, let me take you to the postman and copy the details of the SmileCDR website where I can store the patient related data. So from that, I'll copy the protocol HTTPS and then I'll just copy the website URL that is try.smilectr.com and then I'll just copy the port number that is 8000. It runs on port number 8000. This will be the path. Okay. And this will be the post request. So as it is a post request and we need to pass some data, some patient related data to create this into smile CDR database. So I need to pass some body data for that. So here I'm not going to hard code that uh, data and pass it as it is. I'll just, I just want to read it uh, from the JSON file and pass it here. So for that, let me check what is the next step. The next step is read data from external JSON file and create the HTTP request body. So yeah, let me do one thing. Let me add a preprocessor for this. JSR223, right click on HTTP request, add preprocessor and JSR223 preprocessor. So let me write a simple code to read through the files okay 
import org dot apache dot jmeter dot services dot file server so this is the class file server is the class which can go till the base directory and read the files okay file server further i'll write it as file server dot get file server method dot get base directory method okay so this way we will reach out to the base directory where the code is running now let me make this as a bean shell argument so this will be the bean shell script hence i'll make it as a bean shell argument let me close this with the braces and so i don't want to pass this as part of this uh, uh, preprocessor let me pass this as part of the parameter okay so in order to pass this as part of the parameter let me make it as an as a jmeter argument that is dollar curly braces underscore underscore and then just close the curly braces so this will be the our zeroth argument which i am passing as part of parameters so that i am going to read while i have to reach out to the uh, patient resource dot json file okay fine so our file is kept inside this folder patient resource json file folder so what i'll do is let me just make use of uh, the methods of the file server class that will be new file of i'll just pass argument of zero the zeroth argument here is the end this entire line of code which will take me till the base directory of this uh, code okay so wherever the dot jmx file is present then plus let me pass inside this uh, quotes let me pass the folder structure the folder structure is the base directory will take us to till this dot jmx file folder so from here onwards i need this folder name patient resource json file let me add it with this one the forward slash and then copy the name of the file patient resource dot json so this is the file path we have given save this okay next let me read it as text dot text so this entire file will be uh, read as a text string so let me store it as a string variable patient resource okay so this entire file data will be stored into this string variable patient resource now let me do one thing uh, let me uh, update let me put this variable uh, let me put the, put this value of the patient resource into a variable var dot put making use of var dot put statement i'll just create one more variable a request body so inside that i'll put the value of whatever is stored in uh, patient resource okay and i'll save it now as i have created a variable request body let me make use of this variable inside the http request okay so here i'll pass that as an argument as i've already set as a variable so i'll just pass this with dollar and curly braces the request body so entire request body which is read as part of from the json file patient resource json file will be stored into patient resource and then it will be uh, stored into request body and then this will be made use of in the http request okay 
so this way let me uh, add a HTTP header manager for this request we need an HTTP header manager to execute this request right click on HTTP request go to config element add HTTP header manager so this is the one so let's just move this upside and click on add button that will be the content type since this is a fire JSON I need to add this content is a fire plus JSON so I need to add application fire plus JSON control S save this and then in order to check whether this executed this request got executed successfully let me add a response assertion so this will give me uh, on execution of this request this post request will get the 201 created response so I am going to check the end in the response assertion the main sample and then the response code I just want it to be equals to 201 okay just save this and I just want to see the result to see the result let me add right click on HTTP request add listener we've results string. okay the request uh, this this is uh, used to uh, weave the result post the test execution okay so let me check what is the next step now the next step is to execute the test suit and check if the request executed successfully and check the response okay to execute the test suit let me first click on clear all and then click on start button so the execution has got started and as you can see the request got failed let me just check what is the problem here click on the request and see we got 400 bad requests so why 400 bad requests the request body variable is not resolved okay so let me just do one thing what is the problem okay I'll just show you how to debug this so as this has got failed just click on this log viewer icon that is the yellow triangle you will see the logs of it so there is a log a failure log some exception has been thrown missing property exception no such property arc for class script one okay so it has been wrongly written as arc instead of arcs so let me just check see this has been written as arc we need to make it as arcs so just press ctrl s and save and execute it once again clear all and i'll just close this log viewer for now and i'll click on start as you can see the request got executed successfully and we have got it passed since we have got a green color so as you can see the sampler result is we have got 201 created response okay so as it is 201 it means the request got successful uh, successfully executed and the patient got created in smile CDR database so let me just check what is our request so this is the request which we have read from a JSON file so if you want to cross check it with the JSON file just check it okay and to check it just open this file and uh, see so this is a uh, resource type patient identifier system value if everything is same uh, which has been read from this uh, mail and then 1974 25th December 1974 and the family name is Chalmers Peter James Chalmers and Peter James okay this entire JSON file has been read as part of uh, this code and passed as a request body to the HTTP request and this got created we, we have got 201 successfully created response and then the, let me check the response data as well the response data contains resource type patient the ID got generated 
uh, as a new patient got created right so the id is 211 and we have the meta version and as you can see the o ur and oid value is same the identifier value is same the patient family name is chalmers so everything got registered so this way uh, we can uh, read any of the data from any of the json file which is kept totally externally okay so if you uh, you can also uh, go, go you can also practice this and uh, see if you can achieve this this is very simple and if you get stuck somewhere you can write this into comment and if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel software automation experience and click on the bell notification for the next uh, such videos so till the next video uh, stay tuned guys thank you